I say something right here for some of you that don't know what the gospel is, don't know why you can believe. I'm going to talk about that, but I want to say this first. Have you ever heard in church, they say, oh, that was such a good person. They're such a good person. I want to remind you that Jesus said to the man that came to him, he said, there is no man good. Amen. There is no man good but God. That's right. No man good. You know, Jesus was also referring to himself. Amen. Jesus wasn't God. He was a man. God. And he told the man, there is none good but God. Oh, so that person or you, I heard, I've heard people say, well, I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. I'm a good person. Jesus wasn't a good person. Mm -hmm. Now you got a problem. All right. Turn with me <laughs> to, uh, turn with me to Luke 18. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk to the ones that don't know how to get there, how to get there, because we're talking all over the world, and I want to read this. I'm going to begin in Luke 18. I'm going to begin in verse 9, Thank God. and Jesus is speaking, the one that wasn't good, but the one that never sinned. It says, and he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Amen. Now, I'm going to talk to you people that sit in pews. And I'm going to talk to you people that think you're righteous and think that you are a good person. Jesus is speaking to you right now. And Amen. this may be the reason why you cannot believe. Why you cannot believe. Amen. It says, Amen. and he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Jesus. It says, two men went up to the temple to pray. The temple to pray. He said, the one of Pharisee. A religious leader, one that followed the Ten Commandments to the T, one that knew the law and followed it. Amen. That Pharisee and the other, a publican. Mm -hmm. The publicans were tax collectors, and they were considered the scum of the earth. Mm -hmm. Not so much different now. <laughs> they were considered back then the scum of the earth. All right? <laughs> It says the Pharisee stood. Yeah, I mean, you can put a politician in there. You can put whatever you want. Amen. Right? All, right. All right, the one of Pharisee, the one of religious leader, obeyed those Ten Commandments, obeyed the law. And then the other, a publican, scum of the earth, white trash is what we used to hear when I was growing up. All right, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Oh, they're such a good person. God, I thank thee. That I am not as other men are, mm. extortioners, wow. unjust, mm. adulterers, wow. or even as this white trash next to me. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> or I'll, I'll be real honest, trailer trash. Let's get real. Jesus. <laughs> Let's get real. All right? Jesus. Okay, I fast twice in the week. I read the Psalms three hours a day. I give tithes of all that I possess. I listen to every tape. I got religious TV on 24-7. Amen. All right? And it says, and the publican, the white trash, trailer trash, other sides of the track, the publican, standing afar off, afar off, would not lift so much as his eyes into heaven. Wouldn't even look up. Mm. Glory. He smote yeah. upon his breast. Yeah. Say, God, be merciful Amen. to me, a sinner. Amen. Did you hear what white trash said? Mm -hmm. God, be merciful to yeah. me, yeah. a sinner. Hallelujah. A sinner. Hallelujah. I'm a sinner. Right. Look what happens. It says, I tell you, that the man went down to his house justified. Hallelujah. Do you see that? Justified. Mm. That man went back home without any sin. Yeah. Justified. Not yeah. forgiven. Not only forgiven. We're talking justified. Yes. Everything he had done yes. was wiped out. Yeah. Wiped out. Amen. That's mercy. That's Amen. right. God be merciful Hallelujah. to me, a sinner. Amen. Merciful. Amen. Merciful. Hallelujah. Be merciful to me, 
a sinner. That's right. You know what? Doyle has a, a, an interesting testimony that I remember. Yeah, I remember them all. He told someone when he first started walking with God, and this is interesting. He told someone that already was walking in God, was born again, baptized in the Holy Ghost. And Doyle said, you know, God's having me ask for mercy. And the other person said, well, I guess you could do that. The one that asked for mercy yeah. went home justified. Yeah. Went right. home justified. Right. Amen. All right. Turn with me That's to right. uh, Micah 6. Hallelujah. Micah Hallelujah. 6. And I'm going to go. It says, uh, verse 18. Who is a God like unto thee, which pardoneth iniquity, and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever. Oh, thank God he does not retain his anger. Why? Because he delighteth in mercy. He delighteth in mercy. Did you know that our God, our God, the one that I grew up thinking had a stick, and if I, if I did something wrong, he was going to whack me with it? What's it say here? He says, because he delighteth in mercy. Amen. He delighteth in mercy. Did you know that God delights to show mercy? Do you know that God delighted to show mercy so much? Turn with me to Hebrews 8. Amen. Actually, no, go to Ephesians 2. Go to Ephesians 2. I'm going to begin in verse, chapter 2, verse 1. And Amen. you have he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. It says... Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children to disobedience, among whom we all had our conversation, our behavior, in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath even as others. But look at this. Look at this next verse. But God, who is rich in mercy. But God, who is rich in mercy. Our God is rich in mercy. And what did he do with that mercy? What did God do with that mercy? It says, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Jesus. Amen. You know what God, how God showed mercy? Exactly what Brian was talking about. God showed mercy by sending Jesus. Hallelujah. God who is rich in mercy sent Jesus. Hallelujah. And he sent Jesus to carry your sin. Amen. He sent Jesus to carry my sin. Thank Why? Because he was full of mercy Thank and you. we couldn't do it. Thank you. So he sent Jesus Hallelujah. to do it first Amen. for us. Don't you Amen. think that's mercy? Yes. Don't you think that's mercy? Hallelujah. He sent Jesus to do it for you. Thank he you. sent Jesus to pay for your sin, Amen. just like Brian said. He Hallelujah. sent Jesus to pay for your disease, Hallelujah. to pay for your poverty. He had so much mercy. Thank you. And you know what the definition of mercy is? Manifested pity. Yes. <laughs> manifested wow. pity. Wow. Do you know we all need manifested pity? <laughs> Amen. And you know, God showed manifested pity. Jesus. He put Amen. our sins on that tree, on that Amen. man, Jesus. Thank and you, Jesus. Jesus paid for Thank it. You, Jesus. That is manifested pity. Hallelujah. And you know what? You believe that. As Brian ministered, when you put your faith in what Jesus did on that cross for Lord. us, when you put your faith Thank in you, it, Jesus. it begins to work. And that manifested Pity. Thank you. We walk away just like the other man in the in the temple. We walk away justified. Hallelujah. But you know where we got to get to the point? We got to get to the point where we know we need mercy. Amen. You have to know Amen. you need mercy. Amen. Yes. Romans 9 says yep. that the, the Jews wouldn't believe, so they brought in the Gentiles. That's right. Because the Gentiles got mercy because of the Jews. Mm. And then the Gentiles, when they believed, got mercy for the Jews so that they were all in unbelief <laughs> so that God could have mercy on, on all. all. He can have mercy on you. Hallelujah. He had mercy by Thank sending you. Jesus for Amen. you. Glory. Believe that.